Hello, good night, Merry Christmas. Hope you all are having a splendid, splendid day. My name is Devona Dana and I am the CEO of Hello Tobago. And you are joining me for the final night of Vlogmas. What I've been doing is going live every night in December. And tonight is the final night. It is Christmas Day, right? This is Christmas Day and we are at the end. We are at the end. And I've been going live on Instagram. I've been going live on YouTube. And if you are joining me on YouTube, make sure you have like, you are liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, doing all of the things, okay? Make sure you're doing all of the things and sharing your girls out to everybody. If you are joining me on Instagram, hey, take a taste how you're doing. You're good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. I know I sound real low energy, eh? but I don't, don't worry. You got, you got warm up just now. You just warm up just now. Just getting accustomed to this kind of format here um, that I set up. Because I was like, should I go in the office? And then I was like, no, because I want to drink my sorrel. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, so tonight we just kind of kicking the breeze. I hope I have something to drink in on the hand wherever they at, and we just kind of talking about these movies that are must watch movies for any entrepreneur. Like have to bump the must. Okay, if you're on Instagram and you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching the replay. And I want to make sure and tell you comment replay so I could respond to your comment. Okay. And if you're watching this live, make sure you're sharing this out. Thank you for watching too. Make sure you're sharing this out to all your people and let them know that we lime in and we kicking it. It's Christmas night and we're doing our little Christmas live. Right? Right? Um, so yeah. So I wanted to tell you all about these three. Well, I'm talking about three movies, but honestly, I mean, it was so hard to narrate it down. I don't know if you like me, but I absolutely love movies. I love a good entrepreneurship movie, like a movie that just real gain you in the mood to do some work and do something. Hey, Mercy Buku, how are you doing? Right? Gain you in that kind of mood. I am all about it, right? And I love the entrepreneurship movie, movies about people who have done amazing things. Like, I am here for it, okay? So, excuse me, sorry. Mm, let me take another sip. Eh? Mm, mm, delicious. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, any sort of hit you in the back here? Eh? Mm -hmm. That's what I like. I like that tartness. But yeah. So yeah, okay. So let me get into these movies, right? So the first movie I'm going to be telling you all about is, and okay, yes, there will be spoiler alert. So if you have not yet watched these movies, listen, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you need to get your whole life together, okay? And Che Cosmetics, whole life. Merry Christmas, Che, how you doing, right? So yeah, oh gosh, Che, I hear in your voice saying that. Good night, honey. <laughs> but yeah. All right, so the first movie you're going to be talking about is The Social Network. I don't know if I've ever seen this movie. This movie is loosely based off of Facebook, and it's supposed to be the story of Mark Zuckerberg and how he started or stole, right, allegedly, <laughs> um, Facebook from these twins who are, I don't think they were his roommates, but they were like his friends in his friends group. And, you know, it's a little bit questionable as to whether they started, they had the idea and he kind of took it or, you know, there's a little bit, a little bit of murky waters there. But Merry Christmas to you and hope you enjoyed your day. I did. I had a very, very good restful day, right? It was a good day. It started off a little hectic, but it got really restful in the end. The house is clean. Like, you know, so everybody's just really excited about the kind of, you know, how it all turned out. Um, but yeah. So, okay, so here's the thing, right? So Mark Zuckerberg went to Harvard University. And if you all are not familiar with the American college system, but Harvard University is one of their top, like top three universities in the US, right? It's what you call an Ivy League school, okay? So Ivy League is really referring to the fact that these schools are so old that, you know, Ivy, like poison Ivy, that other Ivy, the vines that does grow and things. Usually when you go to these schools, they have them kind of vines growing on the school and because they're so old and they've been they've been around long they've been in town long right so that he was at, at he was a sophomore at harvard and created this thing and basically dropped out that year because he was like listen i don't see where i could make way more money doing this facebook thing 
than, you know, anything else, right? So he did this. This was in about 2004. Fun fact, while he is doing this, your girl, right? Me, right? Me. I down the road at another school called Wesleyan University. Now, Wesleyan University is what you call baby IV or independent IV, right? And these are basically these schools that are right outside of those top 10 schools, right? It's right, like right underneath them, right? So they call them this kind of baby Ivy League because they're not as old as, but they're just, they're all up there, centuries old schools, right? So, so he said this thing and like, I was on campus, I was a senior on campus and he was a sophomore, right? So I was getting ready to leave school and thinking, everybody was talking about, have you seen Facebook, Facebook? Have you seen this thing? Like, and the only way I could get on it was if you were in university. Now, when it originally started, it was for Harvard students only, right? And then they opened it up to the Ivy League and then they opened it up and opened it up and then it became all the universities in America. Hey, Salad, Saladez Express. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, um, my name is Devon Adan. I'm the CEO of Hello Tobago. And you are watching the final day of Vlogmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and welcome you for coming in. And if you're here, make sure you're sharing the live out because if you share it, then I know you care, right? Sharing is caring. And share it with another business owner who is truly talk about. But what we're doing tonight is we're sipping on some, mm -hmm, we're sipping on some of this and talking about entrepreneurship movies that you must, must watch. And Goddess Grit, Girl TT, Sugars, how you doing? Merry Christmas to all, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, so right. So this thing starts and he, he things start opening up, opening up, opening up. By the time I came back home in about 2007, um, almost everybody, you know, it was kind of opening up to everybody. And because it was opening up to everybody, I saw the opportunity in it, right? I was like, hmm, maybe I could start creating content on this thing and selling things on this platform, right? Better ideas. That's what I was thinking to myself. So, you know, this movie, like I could understand the movie, what they're talking about. But again, eh, allegedly, the boy, they say, take the idea from he, the two the twins, right? These twin brothers, take the idea from them, right? Okay. All right. Fine. Cool. So here are some of the jewels, though, that I kind of took away and I absolutely love about this movie, right? So the first one is sometimes you can only go so far with the people you have surrounded yourself with, okay? If your vision is bigger or to push it faster, okay? Don't dwell on like, oh gosh, how am I going to tell them? How am I going to tell them that, you know, we've, we've gone as far as we could go with this dream and let's shine? How can I tell them that? No, don't waste any time on that. I like to say, take all yellow out to the back and shoot them. <laughs> like, just be done with it. Because let me tell you something, right? Money, money like speed. Money favors the people who take the action right away. Not the people who are like, um, I'm not sure, hemming and hoing. And when you're doing that, you see that, that, that action there, so? Mm -mm. Now, of course you could say, but it could work the other way. If you move too hasty, maybe the whole thing will fall apart and da 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 but you can't, I'm telling you, that's a waste of time. Because here's what, what if he was like, mm, let me hem and haw and let me hold on to these twin boys and try to limp it through and all of that. Mm -mm. Take the action one time, okay? Do dwell, do a thing, once it's in your mind and you realize that you could go as far as you could go with these people, you have to cut it loose. Business is not about, I'm telling you, business is not about, it's not about like, oh, well, this has been my friend for so long. Or they could still be in friends. It's just that they cannot be your friend and be in the business with you too. You have to, you have to be, take a very objective point of view from it. I know that a lot of people will disagree, but I'm telling you, for the sake of your business, is either you hold on to the friendship and let's say let we let we done with the business, or you say, hey, it's time for you to think to opt out because we have gone as far as we could go. And handmade sons, so, do you understand what I'm saying? Or you understand what I'm saying? So that was one of the jewels that I got from it. Cause because he had he and you know, it was a running theme in the movie that you know he kept kind of like ousting these people, right? Like he would have a crew around him, it, the things would go as far as it could go, and then he had to oust them, right? He had to do that with twins, he had to do that with um. What's his boy? The boy who liked to sing. 
like the singing, the uh, white boy. Oh gosh, what's his name? Uh, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake had a character, and, I, and that guy was the guy who started Napster. Now, I don't know how young y'all are, but Napster was the original one, like Spotify. It was where you would download music for free, but it was pirated music, right? So it was illegal Spotify, right? And that was the, pre, that was the precursor to all of these things that you're seeing now. So he, his character had started Napster and was now helping Mark Zuckerberg bring his thing out, but the problem with him was that he had so he had like you know addiction issues, and Mark was just like, I can't work with you anymore. We can't do this anymore, and I have to cut you loose. You understand? So sometimes you just have to cut them loose. You just have to cut them loose. Okay. The other thing I got from it is, let me tell you something. You see, when they get sales and marketing kind of down, the other thing that you need to be thinking about is innovation. Okay. How can you automate your process so that it takes less time to get more product in the hands of more people? Okay. So for him, it was like, okay, we had it and it was just Harvard alone. But how could we make this bigger? Okay, we're going to go to all the Ivy League schools. But how are we going to make this bigger? Okay, let's do all the universities in America. But how are we going to make this bigger? You understand? So he's always trying to innovate and get to the next step and the next step and the next step. And Avanel, you understand what I'm saying, Avanel? Eh? So yeah, you know, he always like, let's get there. Let's get there. How could we make it bigger and better and bigger and better? But all of that was about innovation. Because when he started, he was thinking it would just be a Harvard thing alone. Do you even understand the kind of logistics that has to happen to make something that is happening in Trinidad and Tobago, talk to some system that is somewhere in California and, and right back around the world. So, you know, so innovation was the key in him growing bigger. And you'll see this is a running theme with like Amazon and all of them. Amazon was just books, right? You see, the focus was very narrow. It was just books alone. And then what? It was like, how could, but how could we sell more things? And how we could sell electronics? And how we could sell these more things? And what about these more things? And now, uh, many of you cannot live without Amazon Prime. You'll be like, what? You're going to the skybox in three days instead of two? Oh, heaven forbid. You understand? So the innovation aspect, you cannot forget that part. You have the sales and marketing, yes. But if you're doing your sales and marketing and people, you're getting it out to people, how can I get it out to even more people? Okay? That is the thing you have to think. What is your innovation strategy going to be about? The third thing. Oh, I know. I know someone will be like, oh, no, she didn't. But um, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. The third jewel that I'm going to leave with you from this movie is it's not about who has the idea. It is about who can do the execution. Right? Y'all see somebody peeking in the back there on me. Right? It's about who can do the execution. Who it, the idea is so the insignificant part, right? Or let us always be like, but I had the idea first. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about who has the idea um first, Dooney, Dooney the math lady. Nobody cares about that. Okay. What they care about is the execution. The execution is what is the key here. Listen to me. This is keys to the kingdom stuff, Kerry. Key to the kingdom stuff. I'm telling you, it is not about who they are. And tell me, tell me if this will happen to you. Plenty of times you just be like, okay, oh, I have this idea, right? And then you're like, oh, let me mull it over and think about it. And da, 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 da. Next few months, you see some other competitor come out with the same idea you had. And you're like, but I had that idea months ago. Mm -hmm. You did? You did? Did you? Did you really have the idea? I mean, did you? You didn't take no action on it, right? You didn't, you didn't even put on no pen or no paper, nothing. But yet you want to be like, oh, did I have the idea? Forget that. It's about the execution. And there is no difference between you and the competitor, you know. There's not, the competitor don't have nothing extra, right, than you. It's just that they were willing to do the execution with not all of the things in place. Or let us be thinking to our listeners, oh, I need a this, I need a, you know how many clients that I talk to who are like, oh, I need a, um, I need to get a ring light and I need to get, a, um, 
a, a, a tripod and I need to get a, a day and I need this kind of laptop to do the editing and, the, and all of these things. Meanwhile, somebody like me out here with just a coffee mug, stand up on a thing, a lamp shining in my eye. I'm just like, mm -hmm, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it until I make a little money and then I go go to Amazon and buy the little ring light and get all them other things. You understand? So you need to just do the execution with what you have. Because let me tell you something. You do that. You do that and tell the universe, hey, I'm willing to do this even though I don't have no resources. You know what the universe is going to reward you with? The universe is going to reward you with exactly what it is that you are seeking and telling the universe when you do it with the little resources that you have. Okay, so it's not money. Okay, it's not that they have a better process. Okay, the only difference is execution. Right. The other thing I want to tell you about this movie, I know I said that one was the last one, but I have one more drill. I have one more drill. Content and community first, revenue second. Hear me out on this. If you're trying to make a quick dollar, by all means, go after the revenue first. But if you, they don't understand small steps make room for big steps. Exactly. Oh, good. There you go. Small steps make room for the big steps. Right? So, right. Content and community first, right? So, understand me. If you are going to make money, make a quick dollar and whatever, whatever, to hell with community, to hell with content, right? Just make your quick dollar. So many of you, let's be on here, especially a lot of you clothing boutiques. Yes, clothing boutiques, I'm calling you out, right? Or let's just be here like, okay, $5 for this, $10 for this, I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling, right? But you're not focused on building the community and the content because the community and the content is what makes long-term revenue. Eh? If you're trying to make a quick dollar, again, Go ahead. You sell all day. Just tell them ten dollars for this, five dollars for this. But I'm telling you to make the long-term money, to make that generational wealth money. You need to be thinking about the community that you can create around your brand, your business, and your products and services. What do I mean by this? Biz Island is a community. It's a community of entrepreneurs. Okay, it's not about. Okay, I have thing to sell. I have thing to sell. I have thing to sell. Mm -mm. It's about the community, Jamie, right? It's about the community. So a community leads you to longer term revenue. Many of you were on the live yesterday when I talked about the fella with the golfing, right? He knew that his role was to find out what this man wanted, right? This man on my list for years, he not buying nothing. He not, he not taking out his wallet or his card and buying nothing. Why? Why would somebody opt onto this list and I'm not willing to buy anything? No, I had to figure out what it is I could serve you with, with my time and my talent, right? And that is all I'm saying here. I'm saying here, if you focus on the community, you may, you may start off selling the community $5 items, $10 items, you know, $50 items. But I'm telling you after a while, because once your $5 and $10 and $50 item making me, it gets me to where I'm supposed to go. So if you're selling skincare product, if you're selling, I could make money for you. I could, whatever it is you're selling them, right? Once it gets them to the transformation that you promised, right? you will be able to build on that and say, okay, well, I have a $100 product for you now. I have a 150 I have a $500 product for you now. You understand? So if a lot more small businesses in the Caribbean took this approach, I'm telling you, it, you, it, would, it would be the difference between night and day. Try to build a community around your thing. Do not just focus on the quick sale and the getting the money quick because I'm telling you, if you take the time to build the community with the right people, it will be so much more lucrative. All right, let me move on because me and Abel, um, Instagram kick me off, eh? Right. Okay. So let me talk, let me tell you about this movie, Joy, right? This movie, I love this movie because, of course, it's about a female entrepreneur doing her thing, right? It stars Jennifer Lawrence. And this movie is about the woman who created the mop that you don't have to touch the mop with your hands, right? Where you could just turn it and you, you ring, the ring mop. I think it's a ring mop, right? Ring mop and you twist it and the water come out and then you could think, right, that, right? She created that. So, but let me listen. She had to go through some real toots in order to get to where she was going. Eh? 
But Madam, I mean, listen, there's some jewels in this movie. It had plenty of jewels, but you know, your girl had to narrate down for it, right? So the first thing I would say is your talents, right? Your talents are usually revealed to you early on in life, right? Very early on. You already know, like, you know what? I really like reading, or I work well with my hands, or I like the puzzles and figuring out things. Like, we just really show ourselves very, very early in the game, okay? And the thing about that is that when we show ourselves early in the game, Usually, we go to school, we start interacting with more people, and we realize that other people have different talents from us. But the problem is that we just sometimes start to judge our talents by other people's um, talents. So what I mean by that? You might be naturally good in math, right? But then you have to take an exam that tells you you have to be good in math, but also good in English and good in all these other things in order to pass this exam, right? So now you start second guessing yourself. You're probably like, mm, well, is math really a thing? You know, is being good in math really that good if I'm not so good in English and all them kind of thing? That's me. I realized I was always good with my hands. You see? Early, early on, them things was reveal themselves. I always know writing, talking, them kind of thing that I need. I need, right? I like that. But everybody does all, you just identify a thing, but then you start to interact with more people and it just kind of makes you second guess, like maybe I'm not good at this thing or maybe, you know, there's not talent or you understand? So you start second guessing and then slowly sometimes you kind of get away from yourself, right? This talent that you have, it just kind of, you kind of forget about it because you're like, okay, I need to be good at these other things and I need to think. So what this movie was about for her is that she early on used to create fantastical worlds in her room with just paper or some liquor thing and she would just be like this thing here could do this thing and it could innovate and she always used to come up with these ideas right but then life happened right she got married she had to train she had to like do things to survive and she had to vent in thing right and she got away from herself right until she literally had a dream where she seven year old self was like um lady listen let me, listen is it this life where we live in here this is not we life, okay? We life is where you making and creating these fantastical things and we getting paid for it. So I'm going to need you to unlock me, okay? I need you to unleash me, please, so that I could get things done and do what I have to do, okay? And so that is exactly what happened. That is exactly what she did. She started drawing again and draw this mop thing with she child crayon and like literally from she mind, never in her life build a thing. Build meaning like actually build something. And she came up with this whole idea on her own because she connected back to that. So the more that you could tell your business to what you are naturally good at, instead of saying to yourself, oh, I don't know. I think, you know, I really like math, but I, you know what? I hear lawyers does make plenty of money. So let me um go after that. It's not true, by the way, but, you know, people will say, people will say, I hear, I hear lawyers just make plenty of money. So let me, so let me just become a lawyer, right? Let me just do that because, you know, everybody, I mean, everybody, it seems to be a place where people making money. So I'm just going to go down. I'm, I'm going to forget the fact that I'm really good at math. I, just forget that part. Just going to focus on this law thing, which I'm not good at, create a lot of anxiety for myself, just do all kind of things that is so not me just to be able to say, okay, I did this thing. Mm -mm. tie your business to whatever is your natural talent, okay? And that, for me, is what this movie was trying to tell up your girl and therefore trying to tell you too. The second nugget is, ooh, family, family, family. Listen, it is so easy for us to look to our family to guide us through things that we've never been through before when it comes to business, right? And I get it. You just be like, hmm, who close around me? Let me choose this person. Let me choose that person. They can help and guide me because it's my family. They wouldn't steer me wrong, right? And that and that should be true. But sometimes, and a lot of times, okay, you are looking for guidance from somebody who has not done what you are trying to do. And that, my dear people, is just a recipe for disaster, as it was for Joy. Joy, whole family, was she support system. And it was a mess, okay? 
who ain't have deep seated issues with she from childhood and all of this, and who ain't who ain't do that and thing, and who ain't trying to sell off she thing without telling she and a whole bunch of madness. Okay, so listen to me. You have to take responsibility. <laughs> you have to take responsibility for whatever it is that one is your actions, right? For your business and also for their actions on, on behalf of your business, right? So you now have to be put in the position of taking responsibility, not just for yourself, but for them too, okay? So wouldn't it just be so much better if you hire the professional who knows how to do the thing, right? Because you're, you're saving yourself so much headache. I'm not saying that you may not find a family member who is just amazing at this thing naturally and you put them in a position and they just create any position. Lovely. But are you willing to risk the entire business on that is the question. And can you handle it when things don't go the way that they're supposed to go? Okay, so those are things that you have to think of because a lot of you just be like, oh gosh, I shouldn't post this because my nene going to be watching and telling my mother that I post this on, on Instagram and, and all of these things, all of these questions that have nothing to do with them because they are not paying you the money that you're trying to earn, right? Friends and family don't have your money. Strangers have your money. Strangers have your money. So whatever it is in your talent, right? So if you could make a bomb sorrel juice like this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We can make a bomb sorrel juice. Don't be expecting friends and family. What you need to be finding is somebody who is way over yonder, somewhere else, to pay you your money for your bomb sorrel juice. I'm just saying. The third thing that was happening in that movie that I was like, what? Is that bad stuff is going to happen. Like, it's just going to happen. So stop trying to avoid bad stuff. Bad things will happen. Like, like anything for in the movie real bad stuff happened somebody tried to steal her patent right they tried to secure a patent on her mop that she created because she went out to them and was like hey this is how i want this thing made and so they went ahead and tried to patent it for themselves before she got a chance to do it you understand so bad things gonna happen but here's the good news good things gonna happen just as much as bad things are gonna happen and if you're wading through some bad things right keep waiting because i'm telling you at the end of the bad thing as long as you are willing to stick it out and stick it through it's going to be the good thing okay so you need to be thinking about these things as you move through your entrepreneurship journey my people the third movie i'm going to be telling you all about is pursuit of happiness oh i love this movie it stars will smith and jaden smith and it is just one of those, you know, just like, oh, triumph movies that you're like, yes, right? So this is the true story. I forget the guy's last name. His name is Chris. Hey, Janelle, how are you doing? I am Dex Dexter. What's up? Right? No, he's a wildly successful stockbroker, right, for today. And I mean, I mean, of course, we're talking baller status, millionaire status. I mean, everybody I talk about on this list, obviously, is millionaire baller status, right? We're talking about private meetings with Nelson Mandela kind of thing, right? And when you talk about humble beginnings, ooh, it don't get more humble than homeless on the street with your son, okay? It just don't get, don't get more humble than that, okay, with a small child. And being homeless on the street with a child, it, it, that is that, whew, very, very difficult. And I don't care what country you're in, that's real difficult, okay? So, and so yeah. So, so here's what I kind of really got out of this one. One is you owe it to yourself to try. Try even though they say no. Try even though they say, oh, you're trying to aspire to that. Who you feel you is. Oh, gosh, I didn't know in the Caribbean, we love how good who you feel you is. Oh, God, that is we think, that is, that is we road match. Who you feel you is, right, to do that, okay? Let me tell you something. Even in the face of all of that, even though they say, you don't have the tools to do this, okay? Keep trying. You ain't have no money. 
keep trying, okay? Try with your zero dollars, okay? Start dirty, start scrappy, wherever you are, okay? It's called started from the bottom. Oh, you think we're going to get to the song started from the bottom, now we're here, okay? If we don't start from the bottom, like the part, everybody just like, they like the part where it's like, now we're here, now we're here. Mm -mm. You have to like the start from the bottom part too, okay? Start from the bottom, okay? People are much more likely to help you when they see you doing for self without half the resources that other people are do doing these things with. So don't be thinking to yourself, oh God, I look at, let's see people see me starting from the bottom. Oh my God, oh my gosh. We all started from zero. We on, we on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you started with zero followers. Like, do, let's not get it twisted. Kylie Jenner started with zero followers, okay? I mean, she probably bought some along the way, allegedly, allegedly. I, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't spilling no tea. I ain't know nothing more than earlier, but I'm just saying, right? But I'm saying, start with nothing but the sweat on your brow, people, okay? The second nugget I'm going to drop for with, this movie is Time Management. Listen to me. This man was homeless, Twice the age of the interns and the things. Right? So, so basically, he he got this internship, right? He saw a man driving a nice car. And he was like, hey, where you get this car from? Where does do? And the man was like, I'm a stockbroker. And he's like, where the hell is that? And so he got to understand what it was. And he signed up for this internship where there was only chosen one person to come into the company, CPZ. Only one person. Okay? And he homeless. He ain't got, he have his child with him. Was a whole craziness right but time management and listen to me and i could tell you about this even when i was in law school one of the things our teachers used to always ring in my head he was like ah you young people you young people he's like the older people in who have job and train and all of these things they are so much better at time management because they're saying to themselves you know what you know what I only have 60 minutes to do this assignment. I'm going to make the 60 minutes count. Whereas uh, normally the young people are like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to slide this in five minutes before. Or they're going to take whole week researching one little part to put into the assignment. And them kind of crap day. Mm -mm. Them other people they may have time for that. Okay? So he uses time really well. Because you have to make a certain number of phone calls in order to close deals. And this is what this keep telling you all about the numbers. Okay? It don't matter what business you are in. You have to make sales. And in order to make the sales, you have to ask more people to buy your product, right? So if you have a product and you ask 10 people, right, and 10 of them say no, you probably need to ask 100, right? 100 for one to say yes. Yes, them is the odds that you're facing. I'm sorry to tell you, those are the odds. And so you have to be thinking to yourself, let me get, I have to get through these no's quick because I have a yes at the 100th one. Okay, only picking up one point on with that because that's a real jewel. That's the keys to the kingdom. And if you know I give you the keys, you better open the door and come in. Okay, so if you know you're selling something, you have to think to yourself, you know what? It might take me about 100 people. Listen, it might happen with 40, it might happen with five, but you just keep thinking to yourself, I need to keep asking people, keep asking people, keep asking people. That is what that is why this social media thing is so powerful. Because you just keep asking people to join your list, join your list, join your list. Oh, you like makeup? Join my list. You like makeup? Join your join my list. You like makeup? Join my list. You like makeup? Join my list. Join my list. Join my list. And you get them in here. So no, this is narrowed down to people who actually like makeup. No, you ain't just asking random people. You know, you're asking people who have said, "Hey, I like makeup." You understand? Because you have a powerful lead magnet. Okay, all the girl hook all you up with this vlog my series. You know, I give only only tools. You know. Okay, so you have your lead magnet. They are saying, hey, I want it. So they have already told you with their actions that what? They're interested in what you have going on. Olya, listen. Let me tell you something. I don't know. Again, I love movies. And all the movies that I tell you about, I watch them on a platform called Plex, right? I don't know if I've ever heard about Plex, but I absolutely love it. So I got Plex at the beginning of the pandemic, like in about February, March. No, it probably was our March, right? And so it's like a movie platform, but it's more than a movie platform. It's actually much better than Netflix. Now, I myself have not had Netflix, right? But I, from my understanding, Netflix is movies and um, 
a series, right? TV series. But the thing about Plex is that these are movies and TV series that are all there all the time. They don't go away. There's no season or whatever. And the other cool thing about it, it has documentaries. It has um, podcast episodes. And watch me, hey, podcast episodes. That is, it. that is the next thing. I want to do a series about podcast episodes because those are the bomb for learning real good strategies on how to make your um make your instagram work make your business work like love love podcasts and uh, biz island would be starting a podcast soon as well right do you all know about podcasts do you all listen to podcasts let me know do you all listen to podcasts i myself love a good podcast right but here's the thing the thing about plex is that it is six hundred dollars a year right six hundred tt dollars a year and it could and watch me it's available everywhere it's available in jamaica in barbados in guyana it don't matter where you are it's available there, right so six hundred tt a year but but i spoke to my contact at plex and i got y'all a seven day free trial Ooh, ooh. yes i did yes i did yes i did i was like i was saying well, what they could do for me no let me tell you yeah them only give me one day free trial when I sign up, eh? So, all this are getting seven days of free movies, everything, all, every, all the thing, podcasts, anything you want to watch on there. And, 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 I created a very specific, I created a very, I'm, I'm creating a specific folder for you all called Biz Island, where you could watch all these entrepreneurship movies and put all of them in there. So, if you are on here today, I want you to DM me the words, plex me, baby, okay? Plex me, baby. DM me the words, plex me, baby. I'm putting it in here. So after, let's see what I'm talking about. Plex me, baby, okay? And let me put it over here too, right? So y'all can plex me up in, in YouTube too. Plex me, baby, right? So you go ahead and DM me the words, prep me, baby, and you'll get your seven-day free, absolutely free trial. You don't have to get no, no credit card or none of them things. You get a free trial. It's hooked up to your TV. You could all, you could hook it up wherever you want. You can hook it up wherever you want, okay? And watch your movies and check out that. Make sure you DM me the words, Plex me, baby, to get on the inside for seven days, free trial, free movies, plus you get access to my personal entrepreneurship movie listings you're getting the latest movie whatever now come out it's all day right and you could make requests this is the part i love you could make requests if there's a movie or a tv show that you used to watch and you're like oh when i was small i used to watch macgyver and i want all the macgyver episodes make a request and it will be boop, boop, there like magic all right so plex me baby if you are watching this i want to say thank you so much Thank you so much for hanging out with me for Vlogmas. I appreciate you all coming on here at 7 o'clock every night to rock with your girl and hear the gems that I drop. And ACS Concrete, hear the gems that I drop. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. So I hope that moving into the new year, you'll take this information that I have given you all. I have gifted you all this information and use it to smash 2021 and make it your best year in business ever. Plex me, baby. If you're checking me out on Instagram, this is your opportunity to save this life. And if you are checking me out on the tube, make sure you send me the message to Plex me, baby. Okay? You could respond that in the comments, right? And let me know which movie is your favorite entrepreneurship movie. I look forward to reading your comments. All right? So stay tuned for the very next video.